Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter number 8, Fundamental of Electric Circuit, 5th edition. And here we'll be solving question 8.41. Now, before we start, uh, let me just summarize the four options that we get from RLC circuit. If the RLC circuit is source free, then we use these three equations. One of the three, depending on whether uh, uh, over damped or critically damped or under damped case. And if the circuit is source free but parallels RLC circuit, then we use these three equations. Now the difference is here we find current I and in case of a parallel we find voltage. But if there is a source or we call it step response present, then uh, it becomes opposite of what I have. We have IT in the source free, but in the step response RLC circuit, we'll fi find VT. And similarly, in case of a step response of a parallel RLC circuit, we'll find IT. So just keep this in mind. Now, this is the question uh, that we have to solve. The student who had requested uh, an answer uh, is confused whether the circuit is series or parallel. Okay, so how do you find if it is a series circuit or parallel circuit? The simple way is to see the current. If the same current is passing through the inductor and capacitor, that means the circuit is series circuit. And at T is equal to zero, this switch will be closed. So this is what is left. And at T is equal to zero, we can see that the same current is flowing through the inductor and the capacitor. And the circuit is a series RLC circuit. Okay, now there is another point that you have to uh, look. Is the source present or not? Now in this case, you can see that there is a source present. That means this is the driving force. Uh, the driving source is present in the circuit. Hence, the circuit is a step response series RLC circuit. So this way, you can uh, determine which is the circuit. And now, if we, since this is short circuiting 5 ohm, Therefore, 5 ohm goes. So this is the circuit that we have. Now, we have learned that this series, our step plus one series RLC circuit looks like this. So there's a source and the resistance and inductors and capacitors, they are all in series. But our circuit is not like that. So, can we convert this to look at like this? Yes, we have to take help of source transformation for this part this we can transform from the voltage and the series resistance into current and a parallel resistance the value of the current will be voltage divided by resistance that is 100 divided by 5 20 is 5 ampere and this resistance will come in parallel with the same value so we for this portion, we can replace with this diagram. So our diagram will look like this. And now we can see that 12 and 5 ohms are in parallel. And solving, it will, will get 4 ohm resistance. So this is our circuit now. And now we'll convert back into the voltage. So from here, now we're going back to the voltage source. So the voltage source will be around 5 multiplied by 4, 20 volt. It will be 20 volt source. And the parallel resistance will come in series. So it, the, the circuit will look like this. Now this you can see is exactly similar to the circuit we have used to step press one RLC circuit. Okay, so we can say that this is the question given and we have to find IT in this. And so since this is a step response series RLC circuit, then we have to 
uh, choose one of these equations and for knowing which one we have to use this formula if alpha is greater than omega or alpha is equal to omega or alpha is less than omega naught but what is alpha and what is omega naught from here alpha is r divided by 2l and omega naught the critical frequency is 1 over under root lc so let's calculate the value alpha is r over 2l r is 4 and l is 1 so 4 over 2 1 is equal to 2 and omega is 1 over under root lc so 1 and lc 0 0.04 or in the original question it was 1 over uh, 25 so same value so the answer will be 5 now you can see that omega is less than 5 so uh, sorry alpha is less than 5 so alpha is less than omega that means it is an under damped case so we have to select this uh, voltage equation this is the voltage equation that we'll be using now vs is the source in, in this case it is 20 so we can replace that with 20 and alpha is 2 so we can replace alpha from here so this will be the equation that we'll uh, be solving and just uh, a point to note uh, omega d is uh, uh, omega square minus alpha square under root and solving its value is 4.583 but at this point we will not be using this value because it is difficult to uh, keep on writing the decimal point so we will keep it like this and at the end we will plug in the value ok now before we go further it is a good practice that we find I0 and V0 so I0 is actually I0 minus that means when the switch is not closed when it is open that means the circuit is like this and it is in the steady state condition and at a steady state we know that the inductor behaves like a short circuit and the capacitor, the capacitor behaves like an open circuit. So what will be the current? No current is flowing through the inductor because this is open circuit and therefore we can say that I0 or I0 minus is equal to 0. What about V0? V0 is the voltage here, although capacitor is open, but there will be voltage here. And that will, voltage will be what is in the parallel. So this voltage will be equal to V0. And this voltage we can calculate from the voltage deviation rule. Total voltage divided by total resistance multiplied by this resistance 5 ohm. So V0 will be 16.667 volt. Okay, so we have to remember these two values and we'll be using this sub subsequently. Now, coming back to our equation, the aim is to find A1 and A2, these two constants. The technique that is used is that we put T is equal to zero in the main equation to find A1. So putting T is equal to zero in equation one, will be v0 20 a cos 0 cos 0 is 1 sine 0 is 0 e 0 is 1 so this will be the equation plugging the value of v0 which was 16.667 we can find a1 to be 3.333 okay the in the normal uh, calculations we now find a2 by differentiating this equation but here instead of doing it two times we know that we have to find IC and IC contains DVDT so we'll use this relation and this has a DVDT terms so IT is actually ICT this current is ICT which can be written as CDVDT and plugging in the value of V, we plug in this equation, 
Now differentiation of 20 will be zero, so what is left is this equation. And now you can see that this equation is differentiation in parts, two parts. This is one part and this is the second part. So differentiation by parts, we know that the first function, differentiation of the second function, plus second function, differentiation of the first function. So here we'll get minus two e raised to the power minus two after differentiating. And here it will be cosine differentiate, it becomes minus sine. So minus a and then wd will come out. So sine omega, uh, sine omega t. And plus here also differentiation of sine becomes cos. Omega d will come out. So this is what we get. And now we just uh, rearrange, open the things. E to T common from both, C E to T common. So we get this relation. And then we combine or collect the like terms, so cosine terms and sine terms. Then we take common. So this is our equation three, sorry. So this is the equation. And now we'll put t is equal to zero. And putting t is equal to zero, this will be zero and cosine zero, sine zero, and i zero is zero, so we'll put it zero. So it will be zero here, c, and this one cos one, this is sine zero, so this will get eliminated. So this is what is left. We can take to the other side so this will be a further simplified uh, relation and this is our uh, I will call it equation number four we'll be using subsequently in this equation here yeah, this one but first of all let's find i2 from here uh, sorry a2 so from here a2 will be 2a over omega d a we know is minus 3 3 omega d is 4.53 and the answer is uh, minus 1.45. There should be a minus here, the mistake. Anyway, so A2 we have found. So this was the equation, this relation I told you that we'll be using here. We have found the value of A1, we have found the value of uh, A2. So plugging in, putting equation four into equation three, this one here, I will be as shown here, this will become zero. Further simplification will be minus C raised to the power minus 2t. Omega d a1 plus 2a2 sine omega d. And now we put all the values that we have collected. a1, a2, c. Now c is 0 0.4. Omega d is 4.53. This is 4.583, A1, 3.3, .3, minus 3.3, .3, and A2 is minus 1.454. So, when we, when we calculate, this will be the answer, 0 0.7273 sign. But it is better to write it in scientific form. So, it's, we will write it like 727.3, and sign of this, e this, and instead of ampere, we will write it milli ampere. So this is the final answer. So, and the book also has same answer almost. Uh, instead of uh, 0.3 in our case, they have 0.5. That is just a calculation uh, difference slightly. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.